Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, where we do everything from virtual uh, mentoring, hackathons, on-demand learning. Uh, and so for this week's video, I wanted to bring you a game changer with Power BI. Uh, whether you are new to Power BI or you have lots of Power BI reports, if you have ever utilized drill down capability within your visuals, as well as any drill through pages in your reports, you definitely want to know about what Power BI did in this last month's release of the May version of the Power BI desktop. So what this essentially does, it makes it so much easier for your end users to navigate to a drill through page, as well as to use the drill down interactions within your visuals. So let's take a look at how the old way worked and how the new way works and why you definitely want to know about it. So what we're going to see in our report here is I have a column chart over here um, <clears throat> that just shows me my sales by uh, country. I have the profit margin uh, in here as well as a tooltip. And there's the tooltip. Looks pretty nice, pretty good. Uh, and because I have made a basically an on-the-fly hierarchy with this, so if we take a look, I have in my axis the sales territory country as well as the subgroup, which is their territory group, we have these drill down features. And so if I hit the down arrow and I say, I want to know more about Australia, I simply click on Australia and then I see the group that Australia is related to, which is specific. If I want to go back up, I can hit uh, the United States and then we see it's part of North America. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, then if I want to do a drill through page, which I've set one up already for today, uh, and I want to know more details about the United Kingdom, to get to that drill through page, I would have to do a right click go to drill through and then hit drill through page. And now this is the drill through page that I've set up. So I'm looking at the United Kingdom's details. However, one of the issues with this is if our end users don't know how to get to a drill through page by right clicking, or they don't know what these buttons up here mean in terms of drill downs, that's a little bit hard for them to, to know and you'd have to teach them how to use it. Well, here's how we're going to make this so much easier. So in, this is a preview feature that was put out in May. So to use this, you need to go to your options and settings and go to the options. And then under preview features, this is going to be the modern visual tooltips. And you're going to turn this on. And then once it's turned on, in order to use it within your report, it's not turned on by default for your tooltips. You have to go to your current file settings and go to report settings. And at the very bottom, you're going to turn on modern visual tooltips. And then we're going to hit OK. And now here's how this is so much easier to use compared to the old way. So now if I come over here to Australia, bingo, look what we now have. We now have a drill down and a drill through option. Because Power BI figured out that there was a drill down capability to this visual and there is a drill through page attached to this visual. So now if they're hovering over Australia and they see drill down, they can just simply click on it and it drills them down right into the, uh, the, the other sales territory group. And if I hover over here again, I can now drill back on up. Now it doesn't help us out with going down to the expanding in the level to the next uh, level of the hierarchy or as well as going down all one level attached to the previous. That's still not part of the tooltip itself. However, What's even better than that, the drill down is a pretty nice function, but now that drill through, there is no more right clicking. So here's Australia, drill through, take me to my drill through page, and it's as simple as that. So that is really that new feature that was put out in May makes it a lot easier to do your drill downs and drill throughs. Now, if you are wondering, if you've ever set up drill through pages and you're wondering, Matt, how are you getting it to show the country that you selected up here uh, in this visualization. Uh, just to give you a quick little uh, DAX function of how this is done. So I'm going to click on it here. This is just a card visual that I overlaid on top of a um, on top of a shape. And the measurement that I used, let me give this over here, is I made a DAX measure called drill down state. And I'll make this larger and we'll zoom on in. And so I use the DAX function selected value. What selected value does is it returns the selected value if there's a unique value selected from a column. So I said, look in my sales territory country column and return that value that has been selected. And then to get the apostrophe S in details, I just concatenated it with a hard-coded text string. 
So that's just a nice little tip there of how I'm able to dynamically change. So again, just to show how this works again, if I go to Canada and I go to drill through and go to the drill through page, now it takes me to Canada's details. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can now use this in any of your current reports and future reports. Also, if you have an old report where you want these tool tips to now be turned on, open it up in the Power BI desktop, go to the file, go to options and settings, and then for that current file, turn on your modern visual tool tips. I think your end users are gonna appreciate it and it's just gonna make life easier. Uh, so please let me know what you like, comment, subscribe below, uh, and I hope to see you in the next video.